Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we didn't get a video done yesterday for the Friday freebie, so I don't know if I will use this and what I'm going to do today or not, but they're just vintage labels, and you guys know how to use those. Just use them as ephemera on your projects, but you know, we may see one that will fit into what we're working on today, but if not, I'll leave the link below. You can go over and download these for free that as long as you are a subscriber to our channel that's all that we ask so today i had a little idea in mind <laughs> i know you always like to hear me say that don't you you're like oh no what she got in her mind now <laughs> i am going to use some vent well vintage these are not vintage i am going to use some junk mail envelopes and just because there, I have a bunch that people have sent me, and then I get quite a few in the mail. And that's the only reason I'm using them for the inside of my tags and journal cards. Now, you can use whatever. You can use a piece of cardstock, uh, old book pages, you know, whatever you've got. It doesn't matter. So what we're going to make is something a little different than just regular tags. So hang on. I know you're saying, oh, regular tags again. We've made those. Been there, done that. Well, these are going to be a little different. And I think I'm going to start out with the little kitty. I just think that little cat is the cutest little thing. <laughs> if I wasn't allergic and my kids wasn't allergic, we'd have us a kitty cat. These are from my spring collection, and it is up. The digital is up, and I will try to remember to link it below. If I forget, you just go to our website. That link is always below. And look on our digitals, and you'll see it. It's one of the first ones up there. So I'm going to cover this whole piece here. And like I said, this is going to be different, so... I don't know. It's probably been done. Every, there's not very many things that we do nowadays that hadn't been done somewhere. But I just had an idea in my brain. And so I thought I would grab hold of it. Now, I want the little kitty on there, but I don't necessarily want him right in the middle. So I think, or her, whatever it is, I'm just going to put her about like that. We'll call her a her. She looks like a cute little her. And then I'm just going to press that down. And this is going to be the inside of my tag journal card slash whatever we're going to call it. It's just to make it a little bit stronger. Like I said, you can use whatever you have. I'm using these because I'm overflowing with them right now. Well, I can't even see where to cut, Edith. That's pretty good. There we go. So, how are you guys? Yesterday, we worked on sublimation projects and getting orders out for our other product so we worked on that all day yesterday until late into the night so I just didn't get a chance to do a video there was quite a few things that we had to catch up on and and read about and you know when you start something new there's always glitches so we had a few glitches and then we was trying to get some product ready for Melina and the and the group Melina Brandon uh, Aaron, Bethany, and Alicia. I was trying to get some product ready for them to take this weekend because they have singings. So we was just trying to get everything set up. Now, there's something I want to do to this tag, and I'm not sure if I want to do it before or after. You could do it. I think I will do it before <clears throat> just to show you what the before looks like and then we may go back later and do an after uh, an after one okay I'm just trying to think just hold on with hold on with me for a little bit I have not done this before so I am gonna take on this side I'm gonna go and I'm gonna punch a hole about right there I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, she has lost it today. And I'm going to come up just a little ways. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to try to even them up and punch a hole right there. So I've got two little holes punched. Then I am going to put an eyelet through here. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I probably lost it. Let's see. I don't know if I want the... Do we want the black ones? Oh, I think that will look okay. We'll do black on this one. We'll do some different colors on the other ones. 
Now, this is a crocodile. Somebody asked me the other day what this contraption was. It is one of the crocodiles. It's from We Are Memory Keepers. We sell them in the store. And I think it looks like we have some right now. Uh oh, that's the wrong color. They're fantastic to put your eyelets and things in. And I have so many eyelets, I need to use those too. Now, we put that in before we backed it, just so that when we back it, we can cover this up. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and press them a little bit harder, just to see if I can get those little pieces to lay down more. So that we can put our backing on. There we go. That's good. Now, I'm just going to use this for the backing. We can write on this. So, yeah, it's uh, been a little crazy, but that's okay. Yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, I tell you, Presley saved saved our lives. Um, not, not literally, but she is like her daddy. She is so technically, technically inclined that all kinds of little glitches happened up on some of our machinery. And I, I was at a loss. I'm like, I can't figure it out. Press this like, no, let me watch a few videos on it and I'll I'll see if I can figure it out. So she pulled up a few videos and in no time she had both the tumbler press and the shirt press, everything going. She was just so she did all of the pressing yesterday except the tumblers and Lisha did that. It was like, man, that girl knows her business. She said, Nanny, sometimes you just gotta trust me. <laughs> I said, Baby, I do trust you. She said, you just have to trust me. But, yeah, it would have took me all day long. I'd probably still been sitting over there trying to figure it out. Hadn't been for her. Some of the presses and things that they put out these days, they're not so user-friendly. I just have to tell them they're not user-friendly at all. Now, my problem now is I don't think this is going to want to punch a hole in that since it's got a... See, I should have done it before, 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 before. Um, let's see. I, I just thought I would do it this way, just to see if it would work. But you can't really punch another hole, not with what I have anyway. So I'm just going to use my uh, book all, and I'm going to punch the hole in there, and then I'll just flip it over on this side and trim that off. You know, there's pros and cons to both ways of this. The con for this is you have to punch the hole again. And the pro is that your, the backing of your brad is hidden. But I don't think it really matters. Now, I'm going to grab some seam binding. We'll see. All of my seam binding. This is my seam binding. comes from my scrap cabin shop. Love, love, love her seam binding. Look at that. Perfect. And she sells it either you can buy a bundle like this or you can buy a big lot or just whatever you want. She's all of them are named like this one is uh, day day lily. So you can pick and choose your colors or you can just buy a big bundle. She has a beautiful summer pre summer bundle right now. I hope I cut that long enough. Now I am going to, let's see, I'm going to run this up through here and I'm just going to use the end of my little awl to poke that in there. The backing on these, you know, where I punched that hole, it's not going to show once we get this in there. So don't worry about that. Not to worry. I don't worry. I'm doing some tumblers with my, some of my sayings on them, like I'm not going to worry about that and I don't know, uh, crafting is my therapy and all of that. So <laughs> if you guys are interested in any tumblers or uh, little craft bags, any anything like that, let me know. I can sure make them for you. Well, either I can or Presley can. Presley does a much better job. <laughs> now, I'm just going to tie a little bow on there. I think that is super cute. Let's see. Could have left a little bit more, but that's all right. 
tighten that down and now you've got a little bow on the side is that not the cutest now you do have this on the back but that's not that's not going to hinder you riding and plus if you're going to ride over here and you don't want that bulk just take your ribbon out until you finish it's, it's not going to hinder it that much now you can use lace if you don't have seam binding you can use some lace you can use regular ribbon whatever you can tie I wouldn't suggest to use anything that's really really thick because that would probably you would probably run into a few issues but lace seam binding ribbon string it, you know any kind of string would be perfect and it's just different something different on your tags you know sometimes I get tired of just putting the same thing on my tags all the time and I think that is so cute with that little little baby with the flowers around her now I'm gonna punch <clears throat> I'm gonna punch a hole in the top and I'm gonna use my ribbon punch I will link this below I think it's normally always linked but it punches a little slit like that where you can get lace in there you don't have to use you know seam binding or string or anything like that you can put some lace in there so let's see put about that like that now sometimes I just put my lace through like this and then when I stitch I'll just stitch over it but I'm just gonna put a little tie in it right now to let you see what it will look like There we go. So then we have that beautiful little card or tag and plenty of writing room on the back. And we have just a little bit of a decoration right there. And if you use smaller brads, and we may use some of those and use some of the string and put some twine through there, that would be really cute too. So let's make a few more. Ooh, that was slick. It slid right out of my hand. Um, I'm just going to grab another envelope. <clears throat> now this envelope's way too tall, so we're just going to cut it off. This is actu was actually a new one, but I'm going to use it anyway. Well, I don't think it was new. It's uh, It's got some yellowing on it, but I'm going to use it. Oh, a problem with me. I've got plenty of envelopes. They're falling out of my little drawer over here. I need to... <laughs> I need to sort through them and start using more of them. Now this little piece I'll use to make a little pocket. And who knows, we may do a little pocket like that too. So we get finished with this, we'll make a little pocket. You can do this technique on just about anything that you have. Let's find another little Well, we did a kitty cat, so you want to do the doggy. I think that would be cute. Let's do the little doggy. Now, since my paper is printed on a thicker cardstock, I'm just using my art glitter glue. But you could use your glue stick, whatever glue you have. Do like I'm doing. Dig into your stash and start using up some of those things that you've been hoarding for so long. Let's see. I want to get the doggy on, but I'd like to have part of that truck right there. There you go. See if I can see how to trim it. Without cutting my envelope open again. So we, we did get to send a few pieces of product with the kids this weekend. They just left on their weekend singing ministry trip. Um, not many, but we got a few that were, were ready to go. So we'll be getting more ready this next week. Oh, look at him. He's adorable. Little doggy. I just love him. I'm going to go ahead. No, let's see. I think on this one, I'm going to back it and then punch my eyelid. 
and I just have some little backing papers here that they're easy to back with and I just keep them in a little clip and then I can pull those out and use them if I need to oh yeah that that will look good on there and Brookline made keychains we have some keychains that will be going up on the website too and so she worked on keychains they are cute keychains So all of that's coming. Just be a little patient with us. We're we're still in the learning process and we have, you know, we want to get it right. So that's why we decided we'd take a little extra time before actual launch. We wanted to let you know what was going on, but we're going to take a little extra time just to perfect certain techniques. Well, I say perfect. You know, I don't think there's any perfection. Even if you buy it store-bought, there's no perfection out there. But can get it pretty close oh he's a cutie and see that's plenty thick enough for a tag so that's why I'd rather put that uh, envelope on the inside just to make it a little bit thicker I don't like flimsy tags I don't like them when that they bend when you start to put them in a pocket I can't stand that okay so there we go there. Now, what do we... I think I'm going to put it down here this time at the bottom. Because I don't want to cut into him and I don't want to cut into this. So let's do this one on the bottom. Let's see if I can set my little guide here so I can get them somewhat near straight. My other guide actually fell off, so I don't know where it went. It, uh, I must have messed it up one day when I was out here doing something and it just kind of fell away. So <laughs> I don't know where it ended up. Let's see, we'll do it right, right there. And then another one about right there. That's pretty close. Pretty close. Those are cute. Now let's get some eyelets. Now, if you don't have eyelets, you can still do this. Just don't put eyelets in there. Just make your hole. You don't have to have eyelets. And I don't think that we even sell any eyelets anymore. We did for a while, but, um, you know, they got to where people wouldn't buy them very much. So we just kind of discontinued that and added something else in. But you can get big packs of eyelets on Amazon for a little bit of nothing. Look at that. I think that's going to be cute. So, do we want to put lace in it? Let's let's see what piece of lace will look like. I don't know if it'll work or not. We'll see. Yeah, you can grab some. Usually, you can get like a variety pack of eyelets. Did I say Brad's a minute ago? I meant eyelets. On uh, Amazon or probably some at your local store, just whatever. I think most of these that I have, because I have a huge lot of them, and I think most of them came in Happy Mail from different people. Get over there. <laughs> I didn't get it anywhere near even. Let's try that again. Okay, come on now. You can do it. As I used to tell my kids, there's nothing in this world you can't do if you want to work for it and try hard enough. You got to want it. Oh, I like that. Let's move it a little bit further to the middle. And then I'm going to clip this one off a little bit. Look at that. Is that not cute? And it'll still slide down in a pocket. It's not that bulky. I love that. And if you're afraid it'll come undone, you can just put a little dot of glue on there. But that's cute. And then see, the back, it doesn't hinder you that much writing. You've still got tons of writing space. Now that is cute. I don't think I'm going to decorate these right now. Um, 
I may just make them, just like mass make them and then start decorating when we put them in the journal. So, right now I think I'm just going to make them and set them aside. Look at that. And yes, I am going to put a little ribbon punch up here. And we'll probably just add some seam binding. Let's see. I'll put that in there. No, I want a different color. That might look good. Let's do that one. And I don't mind mixing my textures. I don't know about you guys, but it doesn't bother me at all. Lace, seam binding. I mix them. Mix and match. Well, I actually put that in backwards, but we're going to go with it. I don't think there's a right or wrong. Just do it the way you want it. There we go. There is another one. Isn't that cute? All right, let's, let's keep going. I'm getting tags made, so I'm excited. Uh, let's do this pocket while we're here. And I've got some scraps hanging out here. Will one of these fit? Nope, not big enough. Let's just make it with a, <clears throat> a piece of this, like that right there. I like that. And I don't know that I'm going to close this one. I might leave it to where there's two pockets available. Ooh, I drank a little, like half a cup of Diet Mountain Dew a little bit ago because I was so sleepy. And I had already had my coffee, so I just wanted a, something a little bit with a fizz in it. And I haven't I drank a Coke, any type of Coke, and I couldn't tell you how long. And so now it's making my heart go crazy. I'm not supposed to have caffeine, so I should know better, but I just every now and then you get to where you just want something other than water, don't you? Um, I said I wasn't going to glue this together, but I am, because if we put our ribbon in here, we're going to lose part of that pocket anyway, so let's just glue it together. That way I don't have to put anything on the inside to line it with. There we go. Okay, now, what color would we want? I want something that will stand out. What about this green? Yes. This one is called Frosted Lime. Frosted Lime. And just want... About that much. So Erin, I don't know if you have seen your seam binding being used exactly like this, but <laughs> you can use seam binding in many, many different ways. It doesn't have to be just your normal. I'm going to go ahead and cut a little notch in the top. Now, let's see. Let's use the little hole punch and put a little hole punch and put a small one in the bottom. We can put some small eyelets in there. I'll try to kind of hold it with my finger so that it doesn't move a lot. Sometimes I move my finger. What about, let's see. Well, we're using green seam binding. So what if, what if we do like a yellowish green eyelet? See what that will look like. Oh yeah, I like that. Now I got to turn my little Turn it on the small setting. There we go. Oh, that's cute. Right row. What'd you do, Edith? 
think I got him sideways, so I'm going to have to put another one in there. Let's see if I can get him out without damaging anything. Yeah. I went in a little crooked. These are so small, it's hard for me to hang on to them. There we go. Cute. I don't know if those are the same color, but they're close. <laughs> they're close enough. Now, this may hinder your tag from going down in there, but if we glue it down, it won't. So I think I'm gonna glue it. Let me get it pretty well even, and then we'll glue it. It's close enough. So what I'm gonna do is kind of put my glue underneath and then flatten it out as best I can. Just so that when we put our tag down in there that maybe it won't hinder it. Maybe. If it does, it'll be alright, but I don't think it will. There we go. Now we can tie this. And you can tie it just in a double knot if you want. You don't have to tie it in a bow. <laughs> I'm just showing y'all my, my non-existent bow tying skills. <laughs> Oh, me. That's cute. I love it. I love it. Trim these off a tiny bit. Just at a little angle. Really, you can't tell if they're in an angle or not, but it's okay. So there's a little pocket. And, you know, we'll decorate it. That kind of thing. You want to? You guys want to do one more? Let's see. Let's see what we can do. You know what? We might just do one using. This is going to be my next uh, project that I'm starting this next week, and that's some Easter journals. This was a freebie. Well, one of these was a freebie to the Buy My Coffee members. One was a freebie to to my Kofi members. Well, that's the same one. And then one was to my YouTube members, I think. So, I mean, they're different freebies, but they were to the different groups that I have that uh, support me, help support me. All right, what do you guys want to do? You want to do the horse? You want to do the tractor? I think this one, these will be a little bit better. Let's do the horsey. My Brooklyn is... All caught up right now with horsies so she actually did her well her and Presley together I wouldn't let her run the heat press because I was afraid she'd get burned but Presley helped her and they did her a tote bag that has horse on it and it's got all different kinds of designs on it so she was so excited about that she couldn't wait to show it to her friend and now her friends want one <laughs> I said, well, we'll get them, but, but you're going to have to wait because we got a few orders right now that we've got to get done. And uh, But we'll get it. We'll get it soon. So she's like, okay. She said, Katie wants one really bad because I've got one. Katie has horses too, so. And I think we'll just make this one to be a journal card. I'm just putting that on there and then I'll trim it. Tell you what, I may go ahead and cover the back and then just trim it all at one time. I've got another piece of this very old paper here. I think I'll use that on there, but I'll have to use my glue stick on this one. We got... Um, Another stock of glue. <laughs> uh, you guys buy us out every time we get a big shipment in, and that's great. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm appreciate, I appreciate you doing that. Uh, I love it. I've got me some stuck back in the drawer because if I don't, Brandon will sell it all. <laughs> so I hid me some in my drawer. 
so that he couldn't sell every one of them because then I wouldn't have any. Yeah. It was so funny the other day we got this big shipment in and it had just boxes and boxes and boxes of that glue and he said where in the world am I going to put all this glue? I said well you'll have to leave some of it out in the warehouse I guess so we don't have room in the storeroom we are running out of room like crazy I think we're going to have to have someone come and do a little bit of remodeling so we can ha add one more room on maybe and that's a good thing I'm, I'm appreciative like I said I'm not complaining at all that's how I buy my groceries <laughs> okay I'm going to use the trimmer because I got a little bit off here on the bottom. Got a little crooked. Let's see. Line it up. And the glue's still really soppy wet, so it's not going to cut great. But let's see what we can do. Well, I just opened that envelope, which is fine. We'll glue it back together. But yeah, look, <laughs> it's not a problem. I just had to get that straight. It was bugging me. It was a little bit too crooked. I can stand crooked a little bit, but not, not that bad. And let's see. Now, I probably will stitch around some of these just to give it that added protection, but that's not something you have to do. That's just what I like to do. Okay, now I think I'm going to round the corners. I, maybe it'll punch. I'm not waiting on the glue to dry, so who knows. Well, it punches, but <laughs> it's not liking it. Okay, there we go. We'll take our ink tool and just go around that to cover up any little white edges that we might have or any edges of that envelope showing. And we've got a nice journal card. Now, let's decide what we want to put on this one. And I think I might put this one here, one piece there and there, or one hole there and one hole there, just off to the side a little bit. Let's see what trim we have here. I may just use this one again. I like that green color up against that. And I'm going to try to put these a little bit close to the edge because I don't want to hinder any of the implement, any of the writing spaces on the back. So just putting them pretty close to the edge. Oh, I was going to put an eyelet in here, Edith. What are you doing? Put some eyelets in there, girl. Since you've got like 10 million, um, let's use a couple of these. Well, those two are stuck together. And see, you could leave it like that, just with that, those eyelets in there. That's pretty. You could hang a little charm from it. Lots of different ways that you could do this. You do not have to put seam binding in it. 
I'm mainly doing the seam binding because I think it's pretty. You know what? I may not use seam binding on that one. I just looked up and saw this. Oh, let's see. Let's see what string we might want to use. No. What about just some twine since it's a horsey? Make it look like he's in the barn. Now, if you're going to stitch around these, you need to stitch before you put the eyelets in there. And I need my little threader over here, but I've got it across the room and I don't want to go over there and get it. There we go. Just takes a little bit more patience, Edith. I like that. Yeah, the twine goes better with the little horse. So that is another one. All right, guys. I think that's it for the videos. We did quite a few pieces that will go start in our... Well, this one will probably go in our spring journals. And then these will start up in our Easter journals that we're going to be. I know Easter's right around the corner. I've got two to make, so... Um, I'll try to get those done. I've, I've got one of them already started and like halfway, but I'll try to work on those on the, some of the videos next week. And also, I still have the, if I'm not mistaken, unless it's corrupted again, I still have the Happy Mail video that I need to get up. So I'll try to get that up this afternoon as well. But this, there you go. Some beautiful little embellishments to add to your journals. I love them. I am going to put a topper on this one. I think I'm just going to put some lace. But drag out those old envelopes if you want, or just some old cardstock, whatever you have in your stash. Pull it out and start making some of these because they're fun. This I'll make into a pocket. Okay, guys, that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.